Jada sneaker guy Got the people's eye Yeah, I keep that vibe Better watch me now The heat I'm popping now If that lace ain't popping out Then I'ma swap it out Jada sneaker guy 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 You Two Fam of Welcome back. What is good with y'all, man? It is your boy Jay the Sneaker Guy coming at y'all today. We got something different in the building, man. This is different to y'all as well as to me. This is my first time showing a shoe like this on the channel. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all seen the title, y'all seen the intro. Slap that thumbs up button if y'all are rocking with it, man. I was a little un uneasy about it, man, but you know, I seen the potential in them, man. And, and of course, when you get that bread colorway on almost anything, it's hard to mess it up, man. But you can mess it up on some shoes. But hey, I thought that these were pretty fly, actually, you know, styled up a little bit. They're more on the performance side as far as like for, you know, basketball. They slick, like. They slick, got like a running shoe type look to it. Just me personally, I think that. But um, yeah, man, that is none other than the Air Jordan 35. Damn, but that sounds that sounds up there. But yes, the Air Jordan 35 in the bread colorway. These did release today, which is January 8th. A retail price of $180, man. Um, not too hard of a cop. I walked right into my local Hibbit Sports, and I did. I had no intentions on copping them. But uh, after seeing them, you know, I, I saw the potential in them and I said, let me go ahead and try something different. If all else fails, I can just return them. But let me just give it a try. So your boy picked them up and um, hey, they here, man. So we about to talk about those. But before we do it, this is your first time stopping through checking out any of the family's content or you are a returning visitor, man. Hey, welcome back. Big shout out to the OGs and everybody else who has been rocking out with the fam. But back to the newcomers, if this is your first time, man, go ahead and join the family that we have, y'all, by hitting that subscribe button. Hey, everybody, y'all have been doing an outstanding job of that, man. Y'all have been rocking out with the fam, man. I truly appreciate y'all. But, um, yo, man, if y'all are new, go ahead and join the fam, man. We are on the way up. It's a blessing. I truly appreciate each and every one for the feedback, continuous support, man. But, um, yo, man, we, we gonna do things different. 2021 is a different year. We gotta do some different things. So, I'm gonna try to get shoes that I don't originally get just to try to, you know, test myself to see if I can style them up to my liking or anything, man. But, hey, we here to check out these 35, so let's go ahead and do that. 35, man. Dang. Bang. Bang. Here we have them, man, and um, I ain't gonna hold you, bruh. It is not that bad of a shoe, man. Like I said, it is more on the performance side of things, but I do see where, you know, you can kind of get away with styling them up slightly, you know what I'm saying? So yes, we do have them here, the Air Jordan 35 in that bread colorway. We about to get into it, but you know, I gotta give y'all that, that real quick 360 look of them. And um, let's go ahead and check out the box that they come in. Bang! Here we go, y'all. I was trying to figure out which way this box goes, but here we go, man. We do get the Air Jordan 35 box, which is something different, man. This is different. We do not normally get boxes like this. It is a all over white box, and then you do got your Roman numeral 35 written down the side of it right there. You got a jump man right on the front. On the other side is plain. On the back side, it is plain. And on this side, you do get your size and tag. And then you do get that, that hole that we get on some Nike branded shoes. But um, taking a look at the size tag, it reads Air Jordan 35 in Roman numerals. And the color blocking is black, fire red, reflect silver. So this is a part of the fire red family, if you want to say that. But uh, let me turn up some of that light. But um, it is a, you know, one of these open type of boxes where you slide this back then you lift up the lid so opening that up you do got a lot number right there in the back of the top of that lid and the front part right here it just folds right down so it exposes the whole box like that as you can see so this part comes down and that other part comes down let me show y'all a better look so that is how the box unfolds right there 
a lot going on very very futuristic but you do got like a diagram of those squares you know what i'm saying like on the the shoe paper that it comes with and does it have any white and green stickers no white and green stickers nothing else that comes inside the box that is it for the box presentation man let's go ahead and check out these 35s bang here we go again y'all taking a look at them very futuristic shoe man um on the bottom you do get an all over red outsole on this one punch red is the best way to describe it but you do got air zoom written right here on the upper of that jump man black jump man on the bottom of that you got air zoom written again and it does have that iridescent iridescent hit to it but on um, that is the outsole moving up to the midsole man it gets a little creative you do get this this like a it's like a radio like a frequency look like a a dial like a radio dial or something like an old school it has that type of look to it as you can see you know what i'm saying but very dope you do got your two-tone hits on this plastic part half black and then it goes into that red on that bottom and it is a, a plastic pleat a plastic piece i can't talk but um you do got your your it is like a light gray a very very soft gray it's not like a hundred percent white a very soft gray on that midsole which does have those black speckles which is a dope touch i love that that touch of those black speckles because i don't think it would have looked as dope with just like a plain midsole but i love the touch of those splashes of the the speckles that they have on it man so that's that's dope man and as you can see it does have like lines going down through the whole midsole if you can uh pick that up but uh it does have those lines going throughout that whole midsole moving up above that as i did talk about this design it's like a fly wire i don't know what type of canvas type of material that they have on this area man but it is dope as you can see they put a little thought into it what do we got written right here man it's i don't know what it, it's something that you know it, it has those like bumps on it you know what i'm saying like for like a blind person when they feeling on stuff so i don't know what that says but it does have like little bumps i don't know if it's picking up that clear but it's like little little bumps that possibly can read out something but you know uh somebody that is blind or something would probably feel it and know what it is you know what i'm saying but moving up we do got suede on this upper and it is not really comp i mean at from certain angles it does look like it's a jet black but then there's certain angles where it looks like it's like a faded or ashy type black but um i like how it looks it's very soft to the touch very very soft to the touch man and um no type well it does have a slick two-tone motion on it it does have a little backstroke motion on it i don't know if the yeah you can kind of see it a little bit it does have a little backstroke motion on it so nice little soft suede right there you do get that 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 diagram look right there on that toe box as you can see you got your two three written in that red and you do get that red and black lace that comes with it same diagram that goes all through up around the tongue and then when you get about three quarters up you get that switch over that air jordan 5 looking tongue but it has a tongue that is very slim man this is how the regular og air jordan 5 tongue should be man but it's too late to go back and change that but similar to the off-white fives it is a thin tongue but this is actually i want to say thinner than the off-white fives tongue but you got that silver tongue which is 3m as you can see nice pop of 3m on that tongue same as the air jordan 5 just thinner but um you do get a tab right here on the top you know when you pull it on your shoes you can hold that tab on the back of it you do got your 35 roman numerals on the back medial side is the same thing as the lateral we did not talk about this little hit right here that is on both sides but it is an iridescent hit you got nothing on your medial side but on your lateral you do get that jump man right there on that hologram man so don't touch on that man um on the back you do get your splash of nike air they had to give a little something to spice it up because they know everybody loves that nike air so you got nike air on one side and a jump man on the other side as you can see and when you buy them from the store this is exactly how they come they got like a padding on the back of it that you have to remove so that is how it looks but there's a padding when they come straight out the box man so that is that taking a look at the inside taking out the shoe tree um 
different. You got the, the size and info on the side of it versus being on the, the front toe area, but it is only a, well, it's a, it's two sizes, eight and a half through 10 and a half. So a whole two size difference, eight and a half through 10 and a half. Um, it doesn't have anything written on the inside of it. So that's a different type of shoe tree. And uh, taking a look at the inside, it's an all black insole with the red jump man. And um, these shoes were manufactured from May through September, man. So four month production on these. I don't know if it's a, a shoe that takes a long time to, to produce or what it is, but if y'all can kind of see that tag, y'all want to zoom in and uh, pause it. But uh, check that out real quick. And um, I didn't mention that on your lace tips, they do have those red hits on them, man. So, and like I said, it's it's, it's like a punch red. It's not like a solid red, but uh, these are actually a pretty pretty dope shoe, man. Um, I, I bought them with the intention of just like, just getting them and doing a review and possibly taking them back. But I'm gonna hold on to these. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna hold on to these. It's a good, uh, uh, first shoe of this model to have. I'm going to wear them for a little bit. See the feel of them and see how they do in the long run, you know, because I know how all the other early Jordans do because I wear those consistently. But I want to try out the new technology and see how it feels on feet and stuff, man. So decent, man. Um, I would give these on a on a scale from, you know, 1 to 10. I would rate these shoes a uh, day 8. They are a decent 8, man. Um, Really more on the casual side. You can get away with it. But uh, of course you can use them for your basketball and stuff like that. But as far as like, you know, like dressing up like a shoe like your, your Jordan 11 Concords or your Jordan 1s, I don't think you can get away with that with these. But you can definitely put it together with like a, a, a jogging suit or something like that, man. So definitely not a bad shoe, man. The Air Jordan 35 they did release today. As I said, let me know y'all if y'all were feeling these. Um, is it something that y'all are looking forward to copping a different color in the future? Do y'all want to see me review more 35s on the channel? man let me know hit that thumbs up and let me know that y'all like the 35s and um if y'all like them i'll go ahead and get some more colorways and bring them to the channel man but other than that we're gonna throw them on feet no lace swap on these we just gonna just do a quick on feet and um we're gonna get up out of here man so y'all stay blessed truly appreciate all the support early reviews coming so stay tuned for that and um we gone to the next time man y'all stay blessed peace Rock, rock money now.